What's up guys, welcome back to The Decent Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out the new torque converter. We're gonna do a couple different tests. We're gonna to tow with it. So we're gonna throw a prospector bob on the trailer and tow it around. We're gonna get on the freeway and see how it feels on the freeway. And to finish off, we're gonna try our zero to 60 second timed run to see if we can beat it. Now, a couple things since the swap. I'm getting a lot of chatter and vibration through the carrier bearing. So I think the carrier bearing is just about worn out. So we have to kind of take that into consideration. Like when I go from a dead stop, you can really feel the rear end kind of chatter a little bit. And I think it's the carrier bearing. So we'll deal with that at some point, but for this video, we're just gonna roll with it. The other thing is my trans temp gauge is not reading. I don't know what's up. So for some reason it's not reading, but I'm not too worried about that. Trans temps for me were not an issue prior to this torque converter, even with the stock converter. So I'm gonna do a full video in a couple weeks on what you should do to your stock automatic transmission to make it last longer and to hold up to a little bit more power. I'll explain that in another video, but for this video, it's not a big issue because trans temps were completely under control even with the stock one. So let's start off by towing Prospector Bob and see how it goes. All right guys, we have uh, Prospector Bob in tow. So this is, uh, this is the heaviest load I can really come about to do some testing. Early thoughts, I'm really impressed with the torque converter, especially towing. Uh, you can definitely tell uh, there's not as much slippage um, and my old one just may be worn out, but it's definitely better. So all right uh, We've been driving a little bit. Uh, it feels really good um, It's not as good as a manual transmission obviously for towing, but it feels way better than that stock converter uh, It just feels much tighter You can feel the power making it through. I just don't know how to describe it I don't know how to put it in words, but you can feel it. It does feel a lot better. All right, so cruising on the freeway right now to get up to 70. Okay, up to 70. Our RPMs almost down to 1800, which is crazy. Between 1800 and 2000. EGTs, we're sitting right at about 900. And boost, depending on if I'm pulling a grade or not, is between 10 and 20. So overall, uh, I think, you know, this is a worthwhile upgrade if you are if you have an automatic transmission and you're doing any towing. My AFC still needs to be tuned a little bit better, but when I, when I start from a dead stop, if I just kind of go calmly, the torque converter just handles it well. Whereas with that stock one, even if I'd go kind of calmly to try not to blow smoke or something, you could just feel the torque converter slipping. So. Uh, it definitely does not slip as much. It's definitely more efficient. Um, I don't know. It just feels really good overall. So, all right, guys, uh, driving on the freeway here in the OG Crew Cab with the new torque converter. Um, just gonna give you a little update on what I've noticed with this. And I just got off work, so I'm in my nice dress clothes. So, anyways, um, I've noticed the RPMs on the freeway are lower than they were before. Currently, I'm sitting at about 1900, sometimes down to 850 when I'm going 75. Uh, so those have dropped. The EGTs on the freeway, uh, maybe sixes. It may have dropped just a little bit. Um, nothing too noticeable, but the big thing's the RPMs, which in the long run, you know, if you're driving your truck a lot or commuting in your truck, that could equal increased gas mileage and be saving you a little bit of money. So that's, I mean, that's well worth it. So overall, I'm happy with the torque converter. Some of the differences that I notice with it are more with feel than the actual numbers. Uh, it just feels a little more solid. It feels a little more um, efficient, like the power is getting down to the ground, which is a nice feeling in an automatic transmission. So. The last thing we need to test with this, we kind of looked at the freeway, we towed with it. Uh, I wanna, I'm want i curious to see what the zero to 60 is. So let's go try our zero to 60 run with the new Suncoast torque converter and see if it's any quicker. All right, so we're gonna get to the same spot that we've done all of our zero to 60 runs at. I'm curious how this goes. I feel like with this new torque converter, I still have a lot of pump tuning that I need to do. Uh, like it's still quite smoky down low. 
um, but we'll see once it gets cleared up though and once I start building boost it just flies so that's gonna be an improvement but I'm curious how it does down low it, it definitely takes a little bit more to spool the turbo so all right guys here we are get to a stop okay we ready ready set go I got 12.2 um, but yeah the, it it just takes a little bit to spool the turbo up so yeah I need to do some more tuning uh, I need to mess with the star wheel a little bit in the spring I also I'm gonna show you guys a trick that you can do with the AFC top that will help with your smoke as well you know I've got the smoke screw all the way backed out but there is a trick you can do to get it backed out even further so I'll show you guys that too. All right guys, there we go. In conclusion, I think it's safe to say this is definitely an upgrade. The zero to 60 time was just slightly faster, but I think if I could tune some of the low end smoke out, it would rip. Once it gets in the boost, it just flies compared to the stock converter. Towing it was better as well, not as noticeable as the zero to 60, but still it just felt tighter. It felt like the power was getting down a little bit better. I remember with the stock converter, whenever I towed, it just felt like I was losing so much power to a loose converter that was just slipping. So it did feel much better. And then as far as on the freeway goes, uh, the clip I put in here was kind of my first experience on the freeway. I've driven it about 150 miles on the freeway since then, and it's a noticeable difference. The RPMs are slightly lower. I honestly feel like everything's a lot quieter. I don't know how that is from a torque converter, but it seems very quiet. Also, if say I'm going 70 and I need to pass one, if, if I just put my foot down a little bit, it just hits hard, goes up to 80 easily. So I could cruise at 80, no problem. I was about 2150 RPMs when I was cruising at 80, which is not bad at all. So it is definitely an improvement over stock. So take from that what you will. I'd be really interested to see a comparison between this stock stall and a low stall. But we have other plans in the works. I drove it 150 miles because I went on a parts run. So stay tuned to see what parts I got. It's going to get interesting. It's going to get really cool. So thanks for your support and we'll see you guys in the next video.